The new 98.9 Real Gold Radio. <laughs> ah, foreigner, blue morning, blue day. Hi, you have to turn your, take your headphones off and turn them around. Put them on the other way, okay? Yeah, this is live radio. Say, if, if you say it, you can't delete it. Oh, that's better. That looks good. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, welcome into Real Gold Radio. Thank you. We have Linda Stenberg in the studio. Going to be talking about the pros and cons of... Uh, reverse mortgage yeah we should i should have told you uh, as the song was winding down i said oh put your headphones up we should have rehearsed that because you, know, you got to put them on a certain way but anyway we got it yeah so a reverse mortgage can be an effective tool for giving seniors additional cash to live on using the equity in their home however it is not a decision to be taken lightly it's important to work with an experienced originator who can help you Assess your unique situation to determine if a reverse mortgage is right for you. I think we've covered it, so we'll yeah. see you later. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. So, now, what do you do? I'm a reverse mortgage originator. Okay. All yes. right. So, how do we start this? What do you want to tell? What is a reverse mortgage? I guess that's a pretty good question. That is a good question. It's it's a special, unique FHA insured loan that is for seniors 62 and older that allows them to pull equity out of their home. Whoops, they're falling off. Oh, you have you have slippery <laughs> hair. It allows them to pull equity out of their home, and they can choose how they want to receive that money. Uh -huh. um, it does have some counseling requirements, and it's it's unique and it's a great loan. It's not for everybody, but you just need to find out if it's right for you. Right, right. Well, yep. it's, uh, it's a very popular way to go. There's a lot of pros and cons. Yes. And um, now, let me see. A home, what home is eligible for a reverse mortgage? Any single family home. It can be a multifamily up to four units or a condominium. Okay. Mm -hmm. And basically, what are the differences between a home equity loan and a reverse mortgage? Yeah. That's a real good question. I thought so. The only difference is with a home equity loan, you have to make a monthly payment and right. qualify for that loan. Right. Pay it back, in other right. words. Yeah. And with a HECM, the reverse home equity a conversion mortgage, there's no payment required as long as it's your principal residence. Right, right. So, basically, you have to keep your taxes paid, the insurance paid. You have right. to keep, uh, keep your home up to date. Correct. You know, the roofing, uh, what else, interior, right? No, it, maintenance has to be taken care of, obviously. Right. Okay. They're sure. Well, they're, you would anyway. Yes. I mean, you're always going to have to pay taxes. You're always going to have to have insurance. But those are some of the qualifications for a reverse Correct. mortgage. Correct. Okay. Now, how much cash uh, could we expect to get from a home? Uh, what's the percentages? Um, a good rule of thumb is 50%. It depends on their age. The older they are, the more money they can get. Right. I so. see. Okay. Uh, what happens if someone outlives the loan? Uh, will they have to uh, repay the lender? Or who has to? Um, the, home can, the home will pay the lender off. Uh -huh. We can I only see. receive the, uh, yeah. you know, the, from the sale of the home, then they pay the lender off. Just like any other lien, you pay the lender off, except with a HECM, a reverse mortgage, you're insured that you will never owe more than what the property can be sold for, uh -huh. the appraised value. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's the positive thing about it. Yeah. Now, what are some of the negatives? Let's get into that. Oh, the yeah. negatives. Is that a long list or they're both we'll equal? We'll keep it short. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There you you have to be 62. Right. That's, that's a negative. 62 or older. Um, yep. You have to go through counseling. A lot of people don't like the HECM counseling. Uh, um, you have to pay for it. Sometimes there's grant funds available, and you don't have to. But most of the time, um, you do. Um, the fees are a little bit higher than a conventional mortgage because of the FHA insurance. Uh, so a lot of people will look at this and they'll see the fees and not realizing you have to pay the FHA insurance. And the FHA insurance is a good thing for them because that's what ensures that them or their heirs will never have to bring money to closing to free and clear a deed. Uh -huh. So that's, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, but they're not, they're misunderstood. It's the most misunderstood mortgage out there. Is that right? Yeah. Everybody thinks, oh, reverse mortgage. No, no, no. The, yeah. the lender's yeah. taking deed to the home. No, the lender <clears throat> never takes a deed to the home. Uh -huh. You always own the home. It's in your name. Yeah. 
or if they pass away, then they... Then the loan comes due just yep. like any other mortgage. I see. Okay. Has to be the principal residence. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. And if it comes due, of course, uh, they take the home and resell it, correct? That's how they make their money off of this deal. Well, the, and that's another misconception. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. The home is just, when there's a loan on it, it's just like a regular conventional loan or a home equity loan. That loan comes due once they're no longer alive. Typically, the estate will take care, um, have everything appraised, and then start selling things off. If a family member wants to buy the home and pay the loan off, they ah, can. There you go. That's, they can. That was my next question. They can. Okay. Um, they'll never pay more than what that FHA appraisal is on it at that time at the note's maturity when they're no longer in it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And, uh, okay, payments. Say, you know, uh, we get all signed up, everything's finalized, and there's, uh, well, payments can be received in one of five ways. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They can receive the money monthly mm -hmm. or a lump sum or a line of credit, or they can do a combination. Oh, really? Yep. Or okay. Whatever they want to do with the money, it's theirs to choose. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, as I said earlier, I have a couple of friends that do this, and uh, they just take the money whenever they need it. That's the smart way. Yeah, you know. That's the smart uh, way. You have a form, as I recall, that, uh, that you fill out, and you send them a voided check Correct. over the fax machine. Mm -hmm. And then a week later, say like you ask for $1,000, a week later it appears in your checking account. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty cool way to do it. It is. But you have to be very careful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have Some to be the, careful. You know, they can't really take out too much at one time. Is that correct? There, there is some HUD restrictions on it now where they used to be able to pull out everything that they were allowed all oh. in closing. Now they hold back about oh. 10%. They, for a year, 12 months, yeah. they hold back. And the reason they're doing that is to make sure that they are aware to budget their money and that they have money for future taxes and insurance. Okay. It's learning budgeting. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, idea. we got to learn all over. It's just like a first-time home buyer. Now you're in retirement years, and this is your end. Mm -hmm. This is um, your, your legacy. <laughs> but they get counseling. It's required uh, from an independent third party, right? That's correct. HUD approved counselor. And for all reverse mortgage borrowers, that, that goes into effect, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of paperwork goes with this? Yes. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Everything has We're its We're killing lots of trees, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen, you know, they're, they're large folders. You know, these yes. big books, and it says reverse mortgage right on the front of it. And uh, <laughs> I've looked at a couple of them, and I'm lost. That's why they need counseling. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. It's a double mortgage. It's, it's one with the lender and one with HUD. So there's okay. two pay, there's two sets of closing documents. Yeah. How so, much does it cost? Um, that depends on the appraised value of the home. Everything okay. is based off the appraised value. Okay. What's the usual appraised value, the average? Do you have any idea? In our area? Yeah, right. Probably around 125. Okay. So how much would you get off of that? Depending on their age, maybe oh. six, 60. Okay. Is and then right? they, 60 grand, and they could choose to leave that in a line of credit. And if sure. they leave it in the line of credit, it has a growth rate that allows them to borrow more than 60 over time. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh, that's how it works. I've yeah. often wondered. I thought, boy, you know, if you. At the end of it, that's all you get. But if you live a little longer, you can extend more. You can have more, correct? Well, once they use what's in that pot, right. it's gone. Oh, I see. It's gone. Okay. But if they allow it to stay and budget their money, it, yeah. it will it, it, increase in value. So uh, they could eventually, if they didn't do anything for 10 years, right? then they're going to start with whatever the real true appraised value was and not that 50%. So it grows. It grows. Interest. Grows equity. Equity. Equity oh, okay. that they can borrow. They can borrow more equity. All right. Because they're older. Okay. Well, can we, we're going to take a little break. Okay. Kind of collect our thoughts. And uh, we'll be right back. We've been talking with Linda Stenberg uh, this morning. She's from Hesperia, the Hesperia area. And talking about the pros and, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> 
the pros and cons of reverse mortgage. This cold weather really does a number on the throat. You know that you come into the studio every morning, you try and use your voice box to the max, and when it's zero degrees, wow. So anyway, we're going to take a little break. Don't go away. West Michigan weather. Beat the Utah Jazz. The second half of the NBA season now in full effect. This is USA Sports. Okay, good morning. It is 9-17, back on the air with our special guest this morning, Linda Stenberg, the pros and cons of the reverse mortgage. And good morning to you once again. Well, good morning. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So let's talk a little. We, we talked about, uh, well, the pros and cons. How about more about the pros? Okay, yeah. Well, we can eliminate that mortgage so that there won't be a mortgage payment. Yeah. If, they, if they currently have an equity line or a mortgage, which a lot of those equity lines are coming due right now. Uh -huh. And sometimes the people don't qualify to refinance that equity line. So with a reverse mortgage, they're not going to have a payment. So we can take care of that. So that's one of the pros with it. Um, the heirs are not liable for the debt, which we explained that. We talked about that a little bit. Um, one of the pros, another pro is the interest rates might be lower than other options out there for them. So it is a lower interest rate. Um, it is federally insured. And if you, by chance, get take out a reverse mortgage, and it has to be your primary residence, if you have to go into a nursing home, you can be out of the home for up to 12 months. Well, up to a year. Up to one year. Okay. Yes. So that, that's, a, that's a good thing, because a lot of people worry that as soon as you're out and you're ill, that they're going to take your home away. That never happens. Uh, they give them 12 months. That's a myth. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, and regardless of how much cash is paid out, you normally don't have to pay anything back as long as it's your primary residence. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, if you receive more money than what your home is worth, which we were kind of talking about that growing equity line. Right. If you receive more, then you're insured that you or your heirs will never have to bring money to closing to sell the home. Uh -huh. So that's that's another pro. Mm -hmm. um, after the home is sold and the lender fees are paid, any equity left goes to you or your heirs. A lot of people think it goes to the bank, oh. goes to you or your heirs. Yeah, so something's yeah. left. That's where it goes. Yes, and that's why they only give you about 50%. Uh -huh. And again, the older you are, the more money that you can receive. Sure. Um, and another pro is cash advances typically do not affect your Social Security or your Medicare benefits. Uh -huh. So that, that's a biggie. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that. Good idea. Yeah. Sounds like you've done this before. Just a few times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I think we've covered just about everything on this. Anything you want to add? You know. Well, it's been around since 1961, folks. Is it really? Yes. Been around since 1961. Wow. It wasn't federally insured until 1988 when Ronald Reagan signed the bill. I remember that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. So there's been lots of changes. You can use it to purchase a home. A lot of people don't know that. Mm. Heck them for purchase. Whoa. 40% down. Is that? 40% down and never have a mortgage payment. Oh, wow. You can use it to buy a home. So that, that, that I did not know. In 2009. How to introduce that new product. Okay. So that that's where reverse is going. It always changes with the times. And they're seeing that they want to move on to maybe a condo or smaller home or, or they want to age age in place and have all one level. It can be used to purchase a home. Okay. So that's great. Now you have a web page, right? In case somebody needs yes. more information. Yes. What what is your web page? Oh boy. Uh, -oh. uh www Great Lakes reversemortgage.com. Yeah. You know what? I just Googled a little while ago, Linda Stenberg, Hesperia, and it came up. I mean, you were there. Awesome. Sure. So if anybody <laughs> wants more information, there you go. So I really appreciate you coming in today. This has been, uh, I hope, a lot of help for a lot of people understanding uh, the reverse mortgage mm -hmm. deal. Okay. All right. So we're going to let you go so you can go back to Hesperia. What's left for the rest of the day? <laughs> you going to go out and sit in the sunshine? Sure. I have to go sit in the chair and let the dentist clean my teeth. Oh, yeah. Boy, I've been there and done that. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I don't want to lose my teeth, you know. Thanks for having me. I really you appreciate bet. the opportunity. You bet. We've been talking with Linda Stenberg this morning, talking about the pros and cons of reverse mortgage. And thank you once again.
All right. 